All right, guys, International Stacker here in DC. I'm here with Master Stacker. Say what's up, Master Stacker. Hey, what's up? Okay, we're about to head into the U.S. Treasury. Now, Master Stacker, what are we gonna do in there? We're helping get our currency back on the gold standard, back, finally. Back on the gold standard, baby. Let's go. One Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. All right, guys, I lied right there is the White House. I'm not sure what's going on here. We got blue turkey flags. We got random national anthems of other countries playing. Let's go get us some gold and silver, Master Stacker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have all asked. We're back here again with Nelson from Capital Coins. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing very well, thank you. Do you have any uh, deals for me on some of your foreign stuff that people come in here? With? What foreign bills? Uh, foreign, like silver coins. Remember I bought a bunch of that stuff from you last time. Oh. Uh, no, I did. I had a customer just buy all my silver Canadian and other stuff. I had regular pieces in here. See, I shared my secrets online and everybody copies me. <laughs> There's all kinds of collectibles. Presidential stuff. Paper money. Everything you could want and more. What are you doing on 90% uh, right now, American? Uh, I'm going to $20 per dollar. Okay. Okay. Can I pick some, through some of it? Yeah, sure. Walkers, Franklin's, Washington's. Yeah, let me take a look at some uh, walkers and maybe some mercury dimes if you have them. Who wants to know, how are you doing? How are things uh, going? Things are picking up a lot. What is the most interesting thing uh, that you've seen come through these doors in maybe the past year or so? Well, there's not been a lot of presidential gift items, which normally nobody can get mm. because it's stuff that the president gives away mm -hmm. when you visit the White House. Right. Well, you know, like cufflinks, golf balls, all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's the most interesting sort of stuff. You know, as you see people sell and buy, what do you think the most popular items are these days? <clears throat> uh, well, the bullion gold and bullion silver. Mm -hmm. You know, silver eagles and then the silver, uh, gold eagles, silver eagles. The most popular really? Now, what's your take you on with the current rise of inflation we've seen? Do you think that's why so many people are buying the bullion? Uh, I think so. Yeah. We take a look at those. In case something happens with the U.S. dollar, but if it does, then everything's going to collapse. What could you do on this USSR set? Oh, that's a scarce set. Yeah, I've never seen that. Yeah, I have two different ones, I think. I have that one. 200 bucks. I think I'm going to do this Russian set and then a uh, $2 face of walkers and there should be a dollar face of dimes. I mean, look at this year with the, the inflation. If yeah. all your money was in dollars, you're in trouble, right? Exactly. Exactly. Gotta have some gold and silver. How much gold and how much silver is enough? There's never enough. Oh, I love that answer. There's never enough. Yeah. I, the, the, bil the billionaires have more and the should be around $19 change yeah i'll pop on these you want them all? yeah mm. clean me out i gotta support my boy nelson right. you guys remember these from the middle east melt and these are all sterling okay <coughs> they're 0.65 pure I'll take these at close to melt. I have some Egyptian coins. That's how I recognized it because I bought some of them. The other piece that's in there is the expensive one, the one from Ireland. What's the best you think you could do on this uh, with everything else I'm getting? I paid over $100 for it. I can't discount. Yeah, I don't want you to lose. That's yeah, fine. That's the only one because I bought it special. Okay, I'll take that. You want that one too? Yeah. I've already spent more than I wanted to, but I did it for you, Nelson. Okay. <laughs> All right, Nelson, we'll see so you next see time. We'll see you on the next trip, hopefully not too long. All right, we'll be back. All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks again. Thank you. Well, I'm here with Master Stacker. We are in the Uber, uh, heading to the airport, and it uh, looks like we did a good job in there, huh? I should say. I got about 600 worth of silver. You got about 200 worth of silver and political artifacts. Uh, 
What do you think of your first experience in the secret DC gold and silver bunker? It was awesome. I'm glad we passed security to get there. Well, that's the end of, it's the end of the video. So what do we say? Catch you on the next one. Catch you on the next one. Woo! International Stacker. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with the lost treasure. Some say the Ark of the Covenant might be here. We're here with Classic Kid Coins. What is up, man? What do you do? Tell us about your company. What do you all do? So I started young, at the age of nine or 10. I've been buying and selling. I started with ancients, then I kind of grew into dollars, went backwards into pennies. But uh, I deal on Instagram mostly, live what? sales every week. What's your Instagram uh, handle? Classic Kid Coins. Classic Kid Coins, and, and you do live auctions, you said? Live, yeah, live sales. Oh, live sales. Auctions. Okay. Do those. Try to do once a week, Saturday nights. All right, dude. All I have left, I, I've blown through my entire budget. All I have is $15 left. Is there anything I can get for $15? What can I get? Good question. Let's find out. Well, something neat for $15. Yeah, something neat. Oh, uh, what could I do with $15? What about one of these little guys? Can you do one of those? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd let you take one of those. Let's do it. Yeah. One little, uh, little piece of gold. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Yeah, the Satrap Empire. Maybe. So I might actually just give this away on my channel. So what's a, what's a little bit about the history of that? So those were struck between uh, 348 to 378 AD, I believe. Okay. Uh, the Satrap Empire, I believe that's modern day India. Oh, wow. Just neat little silver pieces, very high grade too. It's tough to find them that nice. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Sure. I'll let you pick one up. Well, why is this lost? Because I have the key on right now. That's why. I can get it open. Yeah, we have three people. And you normally come to this show? First time. First time, okay. Three to four chairs out Watch out your pen. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so if you were me, what would you be looking for when you're picking one of these out? Just the highest details. They're all the same type, all the same details, but you want the one with the best strike, best looking details. Well, there's some good ones in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check out your uh, Instagram sales. They're fun, they'll go usually Saturday night, so I'll start around uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Run until I'm done. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, hopefully we get you some followers. More, fo I'm sure you got a bunch with this kind of cool, cool stuff. Well, I'm thinking maybe we'll do. A, how does this guy look? What do you think about him? Looks like a nice piece. Yeah, those are solid details. Full portrait. Great details on the reverse. That's a good one. All right, let's do it. There you go. Let's turn back to you. Let me turn the paper. Turn the paper into treasure. I guess. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's a great way to service people. Bring half a million dollars to a show. There's a flip for you. Appreciate it. One stacker.